The other day, I made a video talking about the true history of humans and some strange findings that perplex even the sharpest minds and make us wonder if we're incorrect about our history. And in this video, I got a lot of very great comments. A lot of them telling me that they liked it and hope I do more. Others saying that they liked the video but disagree with the ideas that I had at the end. Which I gotta say, the fact that you guys disagree with me in the ways that you do is fantastic. I have yet to see one of you argue from an emotional standpoint. Normally, I get rebuttals like, I really liked the video and found it very interesting. However, I have to disagree with you being as how, and then you carry on with your rebuttal. Not only does this feel very mature, but also very respectful. And it's easy to bounce ideas off you guys, so thank you so much for that. But the comments that I got that I had to make a video reply to was something to the lines of, you didn't have to talk about the biblical side to this. When it comes down to it, this was a scientific video and religion doesn't need to be involved. And other comments like, most religious scholars have a vested interest in their religion. So if something is incorrect, they're more likely to cover it up or say that scientific studies, research, and factual findings are in fact incorrect. When on the other hand, a scientist will be more inclined to admit to being wrong if it turns out that way. Now honestly, it's unfortunate, but this is the way the religious and the scientific are perceived. And really, it's nobody's fault but the vocal minority, which you've probably heard many times before. The really sad thing is that I've seen this happen in videos of religious private schools. I remember one that mortified me was when a teacher was doing a course on science, and he had said something to the lines of, Who's perfect? To which the students replied, God. The teacher then asked, Who is imperfect? Who makes mistakes? The students replied, human beings. The last question the teacher asked was if science ever claimed to disprove God, why would we know that science is wrong? To which the students replied, because scientists are people and people are wrong. Now don't get me wrong here, I'm not anti-religion, but this was radicalistic and if one day we're able to prove without certainty either way was true, uh, this radicalism is just a hindrance, but back to the topic at hand. Why was it I made a video pertaining to the history of mankind involving the outlooks of the religious and non-religious? Well, to keep it simple, I did it because as of today, there are two different theories, I'm going to call them, on how the universe came to be. Through the Big Bang or through a creator, and it doesn't matter what you believe, I'm not going to leave you out because my beliefs are different than yours. That is very narrow-minded, and for me to say, well, I believe in science, so I'm not going to talk about the biblical historia, is a little nonsensical, and please forgive my terminology here, but it was the best thing I could think of. Realistically, whether you believe in God or in science, my video will pertain to you and make you think just the same way it made others think as well. Challenge your mind and your beliefs, which is a good thing regardless of what side you believe in. Now as for the idea that as a Christian, if anything challenged your beliefs, you would instantly disregard it, I don't actually think this is how most people are. Notice, I said people. I say this because it depends on the individual and really, if something were to disagree with what I have once said or presently believe in, I, as my own individual, would be doing some research and looking into this new discovery. However, if you are the sort of person who believes what they believe and are close-minded to new information, I would ask why you even clicked on a video pertaining to this kind of stuff. We as human beings are naturally curious, and things that challenge our beliefs are intriguing to us whether we accept the new information or not. But regardless of all this, I know every single person has their beliefs, and me making a video that leaves a particular belief that I don't actively follow or agree with out would just be irresponsible. And I think that those on both sides could genuinely appreciate that the historia in my last video could match up with whatever past they believe in. Be it God or the Big Bang, both of them cannot yet be conclusively verified or debunked. And to be honest, I've never had more fun than when I'm debating the topic of the creation of the universe with another open-minded individual. Neither of us let it hurt or damage us, and really, the debates not only strengthen our friendship, but our ability to think resourcefully and innovatively on both sides, regardless of what we actually believe. I've even had a go at switching roles so they took my side and I took theirs once. That was really interesting. Thanks guys.